Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for... Ned The 19th Annual Dice Awards happened last night with Bethesda's Fallout 4 taking the Game of the Year award. Some people might say that they stole it from The Witcher 3. Anyways, some other highlights of the night were Rocket League taking home the Best Sports Game Award, which I think we can all agree with, and Star Wars Battlefront taking home Action Game of the Year. Really? I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and that game was fun for the first few hours, but then you kind of realize that Battlefront is to Battlefield what Duplo is to Lego. Whatever. Nintendo's late president, Satoru Iwata, was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award, and Hideo Kojima was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Do you guys think Fallout 4 deserved Game of the Year? What do you think should have won? Leave a comment below. In response to leaked information that Intel's processors based on the 10 nanometer node had been delayed to 2018, the company is clearing things up. Intel made a statement to Motley Fool, the site that first reported the story, saying their 10 nanometer CPUs are still on track to launch in the second half of 2017. Intel is planning three families on that node, Cannon Lake, Ice Lake, and Tiger Lake, while Kaby Lake, which is based on the new 14 nanometer process, is set to launch by the end of this year. The question is though, what is KB. Maybe Kale and a baby? No, that would be a Kale B. Specs and photos have leaked of HP's flagship Windows phablet, the Elite X3. The device sports a 5.96 inch quad HD display, 16 and 8 megapixel cameras, a Snapdragon 820 chipset, 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage with a micro SD card slot, USB 3.0 Type C, Qi charging, a fingerprint scanner, an iris sensor to use with Windows Hello, IP67 water and dust resistance, and most importantly, support for Windows Continuum. Well, if those specs can't convince some more people to try a Windows phone, then I don't know what will. The device will most likely be officially revealed next week at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Barcelona, sorry, I'd... take your pick. Hey, oh, what the time is it? It's a quick bit. <laughs> ah, I thought so. <sighs> Legendary cybersecurity personality and eccentric weirdo John McAfee has offered to decrypt the San Bernardino shooter's iPhone for the FBI so Apple doesn't have to. He'll even eat his own shoe on TV if he fails. Well, John, better figure out what seasonings go with leather then because your shoe is on the menu. A hospital in California whose network was infected with malware has paid the $17,000 ransom demanded by the hackers in order to regain access to their computer system, so that sucks. Samsung has released the 750 Evo SATA SSD, which uses Planar rather than 3D NAND flash in order to drop the price a little bit and confuse people with its naming scheme. Original System Shock producer Warren Spector, who also worked on Deus Ex and a ton of other games, has joined Other Side Entertainment, the studio behind the upcoming sequel, System Shock 3. Footage of the English version of Pokken Tournament has been posted by the Pokemon Company and it makes me want to buy a Wii U. Enough said. And Cat has announced the S60, a rugged smartphone with an integrated FLIR thermal camera on the back. Interesting. The company is calling a picture taken with a camera a Thermi. Stop! Let me take a Thermi. Uh, that's just not the same. But first, let me take a Thermi. 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 News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. The Bob blah blah la blog. The Bob blah blah la blog. The Bob blah blah la blog. The blah blah la blah blog. The blah 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 blue bleep. Now that's a la blah blah blog. I would want to read. So you've got some free time. You could spend it on Reddit, learning how many hilarious cats there are out there on the internet, or you could actually learn something useful at lynda.com. Lynda has 4,340 courses so far and more than 100,000 video tutorials on professional software, business tools, and creative skills all taught by experts. I've used it to learn about cameras and music production, Jack learned about Photoshop, Barrett's using it for After Effects, and there's tons of other subjects to learn about as well. To be completely real with you guys, it's super useful. You can go through the material at your own pace. There's transcripts that progress along with the video and it's engaging so you don't get distracted. What was, what was that? Ugh. 
Oh, see? That doesn't happen. All right, here's the deal. Go to lynda.com slash NCIX and sign up for a 10-day free trial. You've got nothing to lose, except maybe not being completely up to date on every dank meme that pops up on the web. That's lynda.com slash NCIX. It saved my life. Okay, it didn't. But maybe it did. You never know when professional software knowledge will come in handy. All right, that's it for Natling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. All right, time for me to stop lollygagging about and get back to work. But first, it's lunchtime. Also, uh, it looks dirty right now, but it's a necessary evil.